Hey folks, I'm Dr. Mike for Renaissance Periodization, and I have a question for you. Is diet soda making you fat? What do you think? Let's find out. No, no, it's not. But why do so many people continue to say that it is making people fat? Well, I think I have six reasons. Six reasons why your mom, your grandma, your grandma's one friend, that's like, She's 75, but I'm saying she's kind of cute. What up, grandma's friend? What up, Lucy? Hi. What am I even saying? Let's get to the video. First, people who say that diet soda makes you fat generally have a lack of familiarity with direct research. Studies that actually assign one group of people diet soda to drink, another group of people water to drink, and maybe there are other studies that have just regular soda to drink, show that diet soda, as predicted, has no calories and does not create a calorie surplus, contributes well to a calorie deficit, and leads to weight loss in direct experimental studies, exactly as you would predict if it had no calories and no actual effect on fat gain. So that's just a thing. And most people just don't know because most people don't read research, which is understandable. Most people shouldn't be reading research. It's boring as shit and it's tough to correlate and collate, rather, but uh, but they sure should have opinions. You know, I don't really know much about mechanical engineering, and you won't see me make a statement about it because I haven't read the research or know what the fuck I'm talking about. But a lot of people pop off at the mouth about diet soda just saying make-believe things. But there's other reasons they say this. One is that they've seen some correlational research, and they have misinterpreted that as well. There's lots of correlational data that says that fat people, on average, drink more diet soda than not fat people. And people go, correlation implies causation, and thus, it's the diet soda making fat people fat. Now, if you are so inclined to believe that, please explain to me the following. How is it that ice cream leads to shark attack? Yes, yes, I know you may have heard this one before. What is the mechanism by which ice cream consumption causes shark attacks to happen? Because if you look at it, ice cream consumption correlates very well throughout the year with shark attacks. No, wait, maybe it's because people eat more ice cream in the summer, and that's also when they go in the water, and the sharks are doing that shit. You guys know that meme? Mm Mm-hmm. Sharks are ready. Because they're seafood, but to them, you're seafood. And they don't give a shit about your ice cream because correlation does not imply causation, damn it. But a lot of people don't know that. Now, it could be if we didn't have direct research. The fact that diet soda drinkers are more often fat than non-diet soda drinkers uh, could give us pause and be like, well, is there a mechanism here that actually is causative? But we already know from literally direct research that uh, that's not the case. Uh, Here's a quick analogy that's really stupid and off uh, the point entirely. If you're like, all right, all right, I think think Emily likes me. And your bros are like, all right, what's up, man? Like she fucking – Looks at me that way, you know what I'm saying? You're like, right, right, fuck a bitch, yeah. And like, she like texts a lot. I think like it's about me to her friends. You're like, right, word up. That's all correlational, all indirect. And then finally, you're like, hey, Emily, like, what do you think? She's like, I hate you, Scott. Scott? Scott the video guy? What's up with Emily? You beefing still? Emily's a rude person. Here's the thing. Case in point, you go directly to Emily, she's like, nah, fam. So why the hell would you use all this other bullshit? Same with diet soda. Like, well, look at all this correlational data. Sweet. It may very well be that diet soda makes people fat. Let's look at the direct evidence. Oh, nope. Sure shit doesn't. So why is it that fat people drink more diet soda? Wait, I almost answered the question just by asking it. Because they think they're fat and they're trying to diet. Regular ass people a lot of times drink regular soda because they don't have a weight problem and they just fucking whatever goes in the mouth goes in the mouth. And then they continue to do that until they become fat, some of them. And then once they are fat, many of them are like, oh, shit, shit, shit. I need to switch to diet. And that's precisely when you do the study and catch that fat people consume diet soda. So correlation does not imply causation in this case. And we know that for a fact because we have direct research and a lot of it showing when you actually test it, diet soda does not make people fat. People also do a lot of half-baked inferential reasoning. Inferential reasoning is really awesome because you can't directly study everything in science, so you have to infer a lot, which is totally cool. That's just like using your brain. 
But people will say, look, here's the problem with diet soda, man. It's like sweet things we know make you hungry for more sweet things when you're on a diet. I'm like, yep, true. Word up. Palatability is a thing. Like, yeah, yeah. And then like, so diet soda is sweet, right? Like, right. And they're like fucking makes you drink more regular soda and eat ice cream and, and, and have cookies and stuff. Like, oh, okay, okay. Why don't the people drinking diet soda just have more diet soda if they want more sweet stuff? I never get a good answer to that question. I, I don't think there is a preponderance of evidence or actually any evidence that consuming diet soda makes you overeat sweet things on top of that. Yes, in some cases, well, in most cases, having a diet soda actually smashes the sweet tooth right out of your mouth, boom, like a boxer. But on the other hand, there are times when having a diet soda makes you want to have another diet soda, and that's typically what you do. I don't know a whole lot of people that are like, I had diet soda, I was good on my diet. As soon as I had that shit, your boy needed real sugar. And then I was eating cookies. I did one of the beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Yeah, I'll hold. Yeah, hey, hey, little Debbie. Yeah, what's up, girl? What's happening? Oh, shit. Yeah, what are you wearing? Send me a DM. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, damn. Twinkies? Girl, how you know I like that shit? Oh, hold up. I'm doing a video. I'll call you back. Hitting up little Debbie directly for that shit. Mm, so good. Scott's video guy, help me out. Uh, what does little Debbie make exactly? Twinkies? Zebra cakes. Nice. Zebra cakes, ho-hos. Shits look like ho-hos. Or the exact oh, ingredients. Cream pies. Oh, those shits are so fucking good, bro. Cream pies is the best. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, we, no we, we, run a, we run a Christian channel here. We don't. We don't at all. Do we? Uh, yeah. Little, De little Debbie. God, can you imagine? That you get like a, is Little Debbie hostess? Is that the same thing? No. Competitors. Same shit. I, I imagine like uh, you're touring like the little Debbie's factory or whatever. And they're like, well, this is where all the magic happens. You're like, oh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, you in the back. Uh, <clears throat> and how, many, uh, how many cream pies has little Debbie uh, taken? They're like, do you mean made? Like, <laughs> yes. Yes, I mean made. They're like, yeah, uh, the door is that way. See yourself out. Fucking weirdo. Anyway, a lot of times people say stuff that doesn't make sense. It may make hypothetical sense, but it doesn't add up. Point number four. Four. There's a lot of folk wisdom, quote unquote, going on that was just never vetted. So, uh, for example, the idea that artificial sweeteners are bad for you and must make you fat uh, is an example of the argument from nature fallacy. It's actually documented as an informal logical fallacy. The idea that natural things are categorically good for you and artificial things are categorically bad for you is categorically wrong. Actually, it's not categorically wrong. Sometimes natural things are good for you. Apples, sunshine, um, Scott, you know those pictures of Adam and Eve, like in the classical books, where like, you feel me, Eve got that got the leaves, leaves, but like, you feel me, I see past them shits. That's great. Adam, also, he has like a long leaf. And you're like, damn, you really were the first man, huh? In any case, that's all great. Nature's sweet. But like, artificial stuff can be like, rat poison's artificial, but also snake venom's natural. How the hell does that work? And air conditioning is artificial as shit, but if you have a plan for society that takes away air conditioning, I will personally come over with a fucking pitchfork. And it'll be me and every other living human. I mean, we got beef. So artificial things can be really good or neutral. And in this case, diet soda, they've been looking for things that it causes bad for a while. And no, the gut microbiome is totally fine with diet soda. Don't even bring that up. But yeah, no big deal. So people just say stuff because fallaciously they assume natural things are good. And they do this all the time. It's very easy to believe that diet soda is bad for you because it's artificial and that has to be bad. Only that's not true. A lot of times people say a lot of stuff and it's not really – most of these people, it's not their fault fault for thinking like this. We a lot of times say dumb shit that we just heard. And I mean GPTs, you know, like chat GPT, GPT-4, they're like uh, learning our culture and language and world and they repeat a lot of dumb shit they hear us say. <laughs> like GPT is like, yeah, like you should do this exercise. I'm like, that's actually wrong for the following reasons. It's like, ah. Noted. I guess you learned this from scanning bodybuilding.com. No wonder you fucking suck at this. But I say shit. I at least used to. I say shit for sure all the time that I heard somewhere and I think it's true and it's almost certainly false. I try to do it less and less. But I used to say the following. I used to say, you know, the Eisenhower interstate system in the United States, when it was constructed, the reason that it has so many like uh, so few curves in it 
and so many straightaways is that there's like a minimum number of straightaways for any number of curves so that um, uh, military aircraft could land on the freeways if the United States was taking a full frontal assault and uh, military airfields were disrepair. And uh, it turns out somebody just made that up. It's just not true. And I thought it was cool. So I said it my entire childhood and half of my adult life. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh my God, what the hell have I been doing? And there's tons of people like that. They're like, I heard diet soda's bad for you. And you're like, really? Where did you hear that? They're like, uh. I'm like, come on, man. You don't even have any friends. Like, I, I, I'm on Reddit. Those are my friends. Uh, Dildo Lover 55, he uh, likes my posts, which is a good friend, of course. Number five. Ego is a motherfucker. And if you are on record saying something, you might not be able to give it up, even if there's a lot of evidence to the contrary. So a lot of people, especially in you know Instagram comments and YouTube comments and shit like that, you'll say, hey, you still think diet soda is making people fat? And they're like, yes. Okay. What do you think of this literature review that says no? If it's unlikely they're going to be like, oh, that's a good point. You know, I take, I take that back. Word up. By the way, I have a philosophy channel on YouTube. Just uh, search Mike Isertel making progress. And I have a whole video on how to argue to convince and why disagreement is good and stuff like that. And it's very wishful, but a lot of people, yeah, they're not into that sort of thing. So you'll just like, just crunch into their ego and uh, you'll say, hey, you were wrong. And they're like, you're wrong. Die. And you're like, whoa, that was some Emperor Palpatine type shit. You guys ever wonder if... Uh, you know, Emperor Palpatine had a lot of like apprentices. You ever wonder if one of the motherfuckers like walked into his office, like Anakin or some shit? He's like, hey, hey, you, you got a minute? He's like, yeah, yeah, come in. Hey, like, Emperor, Emperor, can I call you that? He's like, yeah, yeah, cat's out of the back. All right. <clears throat> um, you don't look so good, bro. Like, what's up with, you know what I'm saying? You, uh, like, you have like a statuesque manliness type of shit, like, like a pastor, like a father figure type, you know, like a swag about you. He just looked like you aged a lot. He's like, do you remember I fucking zapped Mace Windu for you, bitch, motherfucker, and aged me? You're like, oh, right, 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 right. Just saying, we got androids and stuff around. Sure we got some Botox, homie. Anyway, I'll, I'll go kill a bunch of senators or whatever the fuck. Yeah. That, another day in the life of the Empire. Scott, um, if you were in the Star Wars universe, would uh, three options here. Scott, the video guy. Option one, you're with the Empire. Option two, you're with the Rebellion. Option three, you're not a nerd and hate Star Wars. What teams Natalie Portman on? Oh, God. <laughs> if you guys didn't hear that, Scott asked what team Natalie Portman is on. Ironically, yeah, she's with the uh, – she never got a chance to be with the Rebellion. She was with the, the, the original the, the Republic. I'm saying. But she would have been with the Rebellion. But Anakin Skywalker kind of toasted her ass before she had a chance. No oh, bitch. Good die young, I guess. <laughs> Only the good die young. Who sings that? <laughs> good question. That's a good question. Only the good die young. Which is false, by the way. Statistically inaccurate. All right, lastly. Oh, Billy Joel. Billy Joel. He made all those stupid piano songs. Honestly, if you want to make me miserable, I shouldn't be sharing this because people are just going to swap me. Put me in a room, comfortable room, refreshments. Lock the door, though, so I can't get out. Billy Joel and Elton John on loop. Ten minutes later, I'm going to end it all, bro. I can't. I tried to watch the Elton John documentary. His songs came out. I was like, no. Awful. How many hits did Elton John have, Scott? A lot. Other stuff Sex with men. <laughs> and I'm back in the game. Googling Elton John. Anyway, last point, because I've wasted enough of your time already. Charlatan doctor influencers. Dr. Gundry, who's a fucking liar. Dr. Axe, who's pretty good looking, but a fucking liar. Dr. Oz, who is very good looking, but huge fucking liar. These people just make stuff up to scare you so that you believe things and you buy their stupid herbal supplements. They get rich and uh, you don't and you just lose your money. Sucks. Anyway, diet soda won't make you fat. Feel free to enjoy as much of it as you like. I've been Dr. Mike. See you guys next time.